Tim K, are there places for the iPod Touch where you can connect? Well, yes, but I mean, it's according. You know, it really is continent-based. I mean, in in uh, Europe, you're going to be able to probably connect. In America, you're going to be able to connect. Central America, certain places, certain cities. The bigger city, you're going to be able to connect. The farther you get off the guidebook, the less you're going to connect. If there is no Lonely Planet for the place, you're probably not going to be able to connect. Um, everybody promises that you're going to be able to access this thing worldwide. That just doesn't exist. But there is Wi-Fi maybe in every city, big city on the planet now. And uh, but you know, if you got a Verizon package, AT&T or whatever, there, there's basically any of these contract deals are very difficult. I mean, they, there's there's horror stories of people leaving the United States and using their phone over thing where they paid fifteen thousand. Verizon gave me a phone, uh, uh, you know, a little BlackBerry, HTC, different things, and I was testing these things for two years. And they gave me a really good deal, and it was a really good deal for my users. It was sixty nine dollars a month, unused, uh, unlimited access anywhere on the planet in 200 countries. So you had about, say, 60 places, 60 countries where it didn't work, but they had arranged a deal with all these places where I could use this thing. 69 unlimited access. Great deal. Um, I get an email from them, the public relations persons for Verizon, saying, Andy, you got a $2,000 bill. I said, I don't use the long distance phone call because I know that's going to cost you. But the internet access is $69. Of course, these guys got their head up there, right? And uh, the next month, they get a bill for like $80,000. Okay. They decided to abolish the program, but they didn't understand their own pricing, right? So it, then they switched from, they basically took everybody who was on this deal and switched them over to two cents a kilobyte or something like that means like one meg was twenty dollars and here I was I got them eighty nine dollars they got just exactly what they deserved they're screwing your eyes out so you basically should you leave your iPod at home I don't know I mean if you're in love with the thing take it but if you're afraid it's going to get stolen don't take it but generally anybody that's a world traveler ditches the USA completely and buys a quad band dual SIM, uh, some kind of phone that's open, unlocked outside the United States for, you know, one fifth the price and do it. But it's according to where you're going. In, you know, if you're going to be a business travel and you're going to Hilton, these things should work. If you're going to be a backpacker, they're not going to work. Uh, and again, this is the type of thing where a guy should call me up and buy, you know, $50 worth of consulting fees and help me to, to configure their entertainment for the next month or two months or three months or where they're going to live. And so they can weigh these decisions and make smart ones. I, I cannot make a decision that is universal for 253 countries on the planet. And this is what everybody wants. They want a simple answer to a very complicated thing, and that's why you buy consulting fees.